Hello, everybody. So let me go ahead and just address a tweet that I had. There's something I said uh, that I think it gathered a little bit of interesting publicity for, I think it's for good reasons. I think it's good reasons. So here's what I said, and I'm going to show it on the screen right now. It says, think about this. Biden is asking you for money while denying you health care. Is it wrong? Is it wrong? Seriously, am I wrong? Am I wrong? No. No, I'm not wrong. See, here's the thing. People were saying that I'm dumb, but didn't provide any sort of real world context as to why. So what they're probably referring to is the fact that Biden allegedly is going to have a program that offers health care to 97% of the American population. Do you know what 3% of the population equals? That's 10 million people. Biden doesn't support health care for 10 million people in the middle of a pandemic that has killed over 200,000 people. What if Trump did this? Huh? What if Trump? What if Trump said, I'm going to offer it for 97% of Americans? What would Democrats say? They would be triggered and they would say, no, you can't do that. There's 10 million people who are going to die. You want 10 million people to die? Do you want 10 million people to die? Oh, but now that it's Biden, that's okay. That's okay. So what am I even talking about? What is this whole situation referring to? Well, Biden actually has, uh, he's trying to create a fundraiser for a transition team because Normally, there's something called GSA. It's a department within the U.S. government that offers funds to allow a presidential nominee to be able to pay their staff and create their own team. It's kind of like the the funds that you need to get your team up and running. Well, Trump is withholding that funding. So Biden went ahead and said, "Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a fundraiser to start my own team if you're not giving me the funds. In that respect, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But... It's the details. Those That's when it starts to become a problem. For example, well, hold on a second, Biden. You're not willing to give me health care, but yet you want me to pay for you, even though you're already going to get in power. So Biden, what are you going to do when you decide to actually transition? Huh? What are you going to do? Because right now, Trump is also separately blocking you from getting information that you need in order to create your policies. So when you actually transition using the money that I'm paying you, even though I could be paying for my own health care, what are you going to do once you you get this fund? Huh? What are you going to do? You're going to pay people to do what? So for example, right now there's a U.S.-Russian embargo that is going to expire two weeks after President Biden, President-elect Biden, gets into office. These are things that would be important to work on. He can't work on those right now. He can't. Trump blocked that too. So unless Trump decides to allow, allow Biden to get into these intel briefings, there's not anything that he can do right now. So he wants me to pay for him to get into office earlier so he can do what? He didn't need my money up until this point. He's taken... Large dollar donations from everybody, including insurance companies. And he wants me to fund him to get into office to allow 10 million people to not have health care during a pandemic? To sit there while he has information continuously withheld? So that's just, it's, it just makes, it makes no sense. I mean, right now, 80% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. So then what? You want them to pay for you so you can deny them health care? So this makes no sense. This would be a different conversation if he was allowed access to information, like, for example, with the, the Russia-U.S. nuclear embargo. If he was offered or allowed, I should say, information for that, this would be a different conversation. Then we'd be like, okay, well, he needs to get into office as soon as possible. But he doesn't have that. And I'm not about to spend my hard-earned dollars so Biden can sit around early doing not a whole lot. So no, I'm not going to give money to Biden, and I don't care about giving any money to Biden ever while he's letting people die. (laughs) This guy doesn't even support ending any of the wars that we're in either. What policy? You're going to point to one source where it said end all the wars? Cool. When? How? What policy? Where? What wars? One of his staff picks he just chose 
is one of the top recipients for fossil fuel money. And you want me to give money to that guy? So he can do nothing? Literally right now? Oh my God. Look, if you're tribalistic who only focuses on, yeah, the Democrats are great because they're Democrats, or the the right is great because they're the right. Dude, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Don't talk to me, okay? Because if you're not supporting everybody and you're not trying to ensure the betterment of everybody, I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. I don't. I don't. 